very fitting that the band was playing atop the Wilson Center to welcome Tulane's new head football coach because the Saints had truly come marching in. Curtis Johnson, who has been a winner on every level of football, now the head coach for the Green Wave. What we're going to do is we're going to do our best as soon as and expedient as possible to get these young men who sweat hard, who had academic challenges, who's making it in this school to get them a taste of what we have. And I just want to say, guys, just get ready because you guys are going to be champions. You guys are winners already, but we will hold the trophy up. A wide receivers coach since coming to the Saints in 2006, this St. Rose, Louisiana native now takes over his first head coaching position. You know what appeals to me? I think they got smart, good players. I think it's, this could be a sleeping giant. I think because what these guys have done to, to stick together and stand through Katrina, losing the coach, and these coaches that battled through, you know, I think this is just a wonderful opportunity for myself. I'm happy that they accept me. Do you start right away? Well, I'm going to do I'm going to do a split deal now. Let's let's get with this. I'm also, I'm going to stay with the Saints throughout the season. Mr. Benson made sure that this morning, and I'm going to come back and forth. You know, there's a dead period. There's a long period between now and when these young gentlemen get out of out of school. So I got some time. We probably couldn't be in a more optimum situation. We have 85 of our 97 young men returning. We have 10 committed young men at this point. We only have two slots. These kids are right at the beginning of finals and then it'll be gone for three weeks. So from our end, it probably couldn't be more optimum. Uh, I'm confident uh, that CJ and I will work together to put a staff together in short order that will be here. And it's not like he's in another city. He's right here. A renowned recruiter who scored big with local talent, bringing Marshall Falk to San Diego State and Ed Reed and Reggie Wayne to Miami. Naturally, Johnson can't wait to recruit the local scene once again. Per capita, this is the number one place per capita in is Louisiana if, compared to the NFL. They got more players in the NFL for per capita in Louisiana than anywhere else. So the, the bottom line is what we got to do, we got to tap into these resources. You know, we got to get back in these homes. We got to get back in these high schools. CJ admitted he was intimidated the first time he met with Scott Cowan. But Tulane's president says he had a different impression. I immediately liked him uh, because what you saw today was CJ, the real CJ. He, he is a very confident, passionate, uh, sincere guy, and I like that. He, the fact that he's a New Orleanian is a big plus for me, but the fact that he was wearing a Super Bowl ring, a national championship ring from the University of Miami, and that he has guys like Sean Payton, Drew Brees, and Mickey Loomis saying this guy is the next best head coach out there means an awful lot to me. And to the Tulane football program. For CST Tonight, I'm Eric Ritchie.